15 dastardly betrayals, 27 broken hearts, 8 bloody revolutions, 765 deadly bullets, 200 litres of blood, countless tears, 22 blissful reunions, 1 film festival. I am Alexander Zaldovich and I'm a film director from Russia. So the film is, how to say, I think it relates to the questions which are important and understandable, I think, for everybody. As a group of our characters, they have almost everything which contemporary world can offer. Yes, so they are quite successful, quite sustainable, uh, not so satisfied with their life, and uh, somehow so they found out that somewhere in the south, in South Siberia, in Altai Mountains, exists the abandoned uh, former Soviet secret device, where in the former times uh, uh, people were investigating uh, the cosmic radiation, and it's quite giant object called uh, locals call it target and uh, just an enormous thing about two kilometers in diameter and, uh, and there is a rumor or belief uh, that if that if you spend some time in it something like a night or something so then uh, the people are then you stop aging so use is comes use comes back, yes, and uh, and after that you can live probably almost eternally, so just... But unfortunately, uh, they're paying sort of... they're paying some price for this magic effect, because it is something which I can call a film novel, so I think it's it is quite a multi-level thing, yes. It's very much about the past 10 years in our country. It's sort of satire vision, in a way. It, it was quite clear that we'll produce this film for more than two years, yes. So then we decided not to distract our attention to something which goes around. So we decided just to play the action in future, to just to... Mm, let the tendencies which are so which we are observing which exists just let them flourish yes it's the right word mm -hmm. so and to just imagine so what might happen if, if to let the things go but uh, I mean this picture is more set is more satiric than pessimistic and uh, so I, I'm not sure that life will go will follow our scenario, and actually, so we didn't have the idea of uh, predicting future. So just, and, but I think that the film finally is became something bigger and probably more universal than just something than just uh, the message about Russia. The Russian premiere will be on Moscow Film Festival at the end of June. Uh, I think uh, it is very let's say, a weighted film. It was made in collaboration with my friends, one of them, the, so he is a famous and maybe the best Russian contemporary writer, Vladimir Sorokin, so he is a cult figure in our culture and uh, he's known internationally. And uh, the, another person is composer, Daniel Desetnikov, so who is a leading Russian composer. Uh, so we are friends and we belong to the same, how to say, um, artistic and ideological generation. Uh, because uh, my previous film also were made together. So in Russia, before this world financial crisis, there was a feeling that it goes up because we were producing about 200 features per year. Yeah, uh, it was and it is still quite problematic with the distribution. Uh, unfortunately, 
after the last two decades, yes, uh, the taste for national films, for Russian films, somehow was lost. It happens not only with Russia, yes, and that's all around Europe, let's say, but uh, that's real pity because, uh, because of this, the, the distribution policy so cannot, just cannot be flexible because normally they're, when they're releasing something, so they do it weekend, 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 that's all. And then because it's a long queue of American production, so they, are, mm, so they must show. They are producing, of course, uh, some films uh, just for, uh, how to say, for commercial purposes, let's say. Yes, yeah, so basically, uh, there's a cheap comedies which are working better than anything, so with a budget up to $5 million. And that's okay. So, uh, but if you are pretending to make something more expensive, that immediately becomes a big problem. Uh, if you don't have the just the broad uh, advertising support by the main TV channels, so if you would like to make something a bit more sophisticated than simple comedy, or you are doomed to make it really cheap, maybe for one or two millions, and then you are immediately just becoming sort of art house movie or just uh, or it's becoming enormous commercial risk for the private investors. It's not as bad as in the 90s when just uh, our big biggest studios were just laying on the ground, yes. It's much better and uh, but I'm, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. I believe and I love uh, the Russian uh, tradition, the Russian uh, film tradition. I think it's a great tradition, and uh, I hope I belong to it. Все кругом новое, другое, все открыто. Не надо себя сдерживать. Ты летишь, развиваешься, растешь.